Now joined by Dennis Schroeder, the newest uh, member of the Toronto Raptors. First and foremost, uh, our PA announcer, Herbie Kuhn, has a reputation for taking pronunciations very seriously. So mm -hmm. how do we correctly say your name? Uh, it's Schroeder. Ooh. Okay, that's going to be a tough one for me, but I'm going to try. Schroeder. Is that it? It's close, close, close enough. Okay, so in your presser, you talked a lot about the conversation you had with Coach Darko, and that was a big point in deciding to come to Toronto. What exactly happened in that conversation? What did he express that made you feel like this was the place you needed to be? I mean, the situation, you know, the situation for me coming in and being a leader and, um, you know, what I bring, you know, to the national team as well, the German national team. And... He basically said it's almost, you know, that type of situation. And um, I was always looking forward to it, um, to be in that situation. Knowing Darko uh, from OKC a few years back, um, I know what he's about. And, I mean, it's just match. So I'm um, really looking forward to it, and I'm excited. You said you know what he's about. So for us out there, what is Darko about? Darko, um, defensive-minded coach uh, who likes to play fast. Um, he got the European structure a little bit, so um, I appreciate him. Um, he knows what I bring to the table as well, so such a great family guy um, and, uh, yeah, great character. You talk about leadership. Describe Dennis Schroeder as a leader. I mean, doing everything, you know, I can in my power, what I can control. Um, don't ask nobody else on the court um, what I wouldn't do. Um, put everything, you know, put the team first, uh, do whatever it takes to win. And, um, I mean, off the court, you know, uh, being with the guys, uh, building team chemistry, I mean, that's such important. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, understand it, but um, it's, it's uh, important to be, you know, with the team and being connected, and uh, I'm looking forward to do that. Is it more of a vocal style or is it more of a follow my lead? Uh, I think... Uh, both a little bit, um, but I'm a uh, quieter guy. Um, of course, uh, sometimes when something has to be said, I will say it, but end of the day, I just try to lead by example. And uh, of course, the rookies and all the young guys I want to teach, and I'll be vocal, but um, that's uh, the reason why we have coaches. Going into year 11, how different a player are you? You talked about some of your experiences playing with the Celtics, playing with the Lakers, playing with some stacked OKC squads. How have you changed as a player and as a man? Um, as a man, I mean, I got three kids, uh, beautiful kids, my wife, uh, uh, family now, myself. Um, but, I mean, uh, over the years, I said it, uh, I played with a lot of Hall of Famers, and um, I had to, you know, uh, fit uh, or have to, or I had to see where I can fit in. And um, I think I just uh, uh, got so much variation in my game that I can, you know, play with anybody really. And I think, you know, with that team who we have here, um, talented group, you know, defensive minded, um, always competing on the highest level. And I think that's just the best fit for me. Okay, and um, has Toronto always been one of your favorite NBA destination cities, judging by your excitement to get down there? Um, I mean, it's uh, one, uh, I, I would say, top three. Okay. Um, but uh, we didn't really see the city. Um, I heard it's great for family and kids. And uh, my family and I, we we really excited to go over there and um, see everything.